This is a video to demonstrate some difficulty in having zeroing the x-axis. I had replaced the spindle drive controller uh, with a refurbished unit. After I brought the thing back up, uh, I had to re-zero some axes, presumably because I had to pull some of those cables in order to get the unit out of there and back in. I've been unable to zero the x-axis and I wanted to go through that procedure. First though, I wanted to show that um, the x-axis itself um, is movable right now. So, um, oops, I over-traveled that or it thinks it did. And then, um, so if I'm uh, watching it here, I can see it move. Uh, so the servo is talking, it is moving. If I go through the procedure here, which I've kind of shortened onto these post-it notes, but came out of the uh, out of the maintenance manual, uh, I can get into the return area, but nothing happens. So I'm going to hit offset uh, setting. We're going to enable the parameter writing. So that's been set. That's been input. Uh, we've got the alarm that we expected. Now we're going to hit uh, maintenance. And uh, we would normally go back to the parameter here. Uh, type in 1815. Uh, and then uh, do the search for it. That brings up the uh, zero settings. Uh, we're going to cursor over here and uh, basically force this to say we want to uh, do a zero there. Uh, push that in, we get the error, it says turn off the power, so turn off the power, back on. And we're expecting to see an alarm now that tells us that we need to zero that axis. So it's doing its checks and into the alarm. So we've got parameter right enabled and we need to zero the axis which we expected. Now we're gonna hit uh, maintenance and cursor over to return and uh, get into the return screen. Now we need to move cursor to the X which we already are on. Uh, we're going to hit exec, and we're expecting an alarm, uh, which is this delete parameter before zero. Uh, the book has us go ahead and select maintenance again, go back to the return screen. And at this point, uh, exec is highlighted, and we're supposed to hit start, and the thing is supposed to start moving. Um, and I'm pressing start and nothing happens and it basically just sits here until it just completely times out um, or I give up on it. If I go ahead and go over to manual, which I'm not going to do, but if I did that, I can still demonstrate that the x-axis is moving, but for whatever reason, I cannot get it to invoke the return procedure for the x-axis.